According to reports, the Queen will hold her annual Christmas celebration in Sandringham and may make her first public appearance since early October. Last Christmas, the 95-year-old monarch and her husband, Prince Philip, spent it alone at Windsor Castle and it turned out to be their final festive season together, as the Duke died in April at the age of 99. Her Majesty has endured a number of health scares in recent weeks and has been forced to cancel public engagements on the advice of doctors. She has mainly been resting, undertaking light duties or carrying out video calls with people. But it appears the Covid pandemic will not force the Queen, 95, to cancel her usual family gathering for a second year in a row. According to the Mail Online, Her Majesty has been given the go-ahead by doctors to throw her annual private pre-festive season party for extended family members for the first time since 2019. This year, however, it will take place at Windsor Castle and not Buckingham Palace, where it has traditionally been held for several decades. If the get-together is able to go ahead, Head, it will be the first time the Queen has hosted the event since 2019. Following the event, the monarch will travel to Sandringham in Norfolk, which is where the royal family traditionally spend Christmas. The Queen would normally travel to Sandringham by train, but is expected to make this year's journey by helicopter. The head of state is also allegedly exploring ways in which to make a public appearance in the next two weeks to wish the country a Merry Christmas the Mail Online reported. It is understood the hope is the Queen will be able to take part in a short public engagement in the grounds of Windsor Castle. It won't be a normal Christmas, but like many families around the country, it will be as normal as it can get, a source said. The Queen was last seen physically in public at a Windsor Castle reception on October the 19th, after which she was forced to cancel a number of engagements on the advice of doctors. Last year, the Queen chose to stay in Windsor for Christmas during the pandemic, but she would normally have travelled to Sandringham. While at Sandringham, the royal family visit the Church of St Mary Magdalene each Sunday, including on Christmas Day, where members of the public can traditionally gather to catch a glimpse of the royals and their guests. The Queen normally stays at Sandringham until February, at which point she would return to London. It comes after several of her royal engagements were cancelled, and the Queen, who has recently used a walking stick for the first time on royal visits, also spent a night in hospital. She was forced to pull out of the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph in London after spraining her back. She also had to cancel her trip to Northern Ireland and pulled out of several engagements including the COP26 Climate Change Summit in Scotland and the Festival of Remembrance at the Cenotaph. Buckingham Palace issued a statement on her behalf at the time expressing her disappointment for not being able to attend the event to commemorate all the men and women who served in the First World War. However, she attended the joint christening of Princess Eugenie's son, August, and Zara Tyndall's son, Lucas, in November at All Saints Chapel in Great Windsor Park, Berkshire.